What's going on, guys? It is the SMT with Yasmin. She's here joining me for this video. <laughs> uh, what I have for you guys today is a video on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. It was announced today at the Samsung Unpacked 2019 event. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 appears to be an amazing flagship. Very, very uh, well designed, very attractive, and uh, a price tag to match. So the regular Note 10 is going to cost 949 bucks. Uh, the Note 10 Plus will be 1099, and the Note 10 Plus 5G, which I'll be highlighting in this video, will be $1,300. Now, this 5G variant of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus is also the same cost, $1,300, as the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus 5G that came out a few months ago. Uh, same as what happened before, Verizon gets exclusivity for now. I think this gives them kind of a window of a few months where they'll be the only carrier kind of selling uh, the device in their stores. And then eventually it will get to the other uh, providers as well. So the thing, though, I want to highlight in this particular video is actually the carrier differences between the devices. So each carrier actually is doing 5G a little bit differently. All right, yes, man, come on. And because of that, because their 5G is different and unique, uh, each model's 5G connectivity is also different. So the Verizon model is going to have the Qualcomm Snapdragon X50 modem, which is millimeter wave only for 5G, which is terrible. Uh, AT and yes, man. AT and T and T-Mobile models are actually not going to be millimeter wave compatible. They'll be compatible with mid-band, sub six gigahertz, and low-band frequencies. They're actually going to be using the Qualcomm Snapdragon x55 modem so there's a huge difference there and uh, i believe uh the same situation with sprint because obviously sprint has 2.5 gigahertz sub six uh so that compatib compatibility uh will be the scenario as we saw with the lg v50 thinq 5g so uh t-mobile is rumored to get this device in q4 of 2019 so you may have to wait a little bit for it if you're uh, excited to get that and get it going on uh, t-mobile's 5g um, T-Mobile's uh, CEO, John Leisure, actually tweeted and said it is fully compatible with low band and mid band spectrum. So that means that we have confirmation that's coming from the horse's mouth. And uh, as a recap of the phone, you've got a 6.8 inch display, a 4300 milliamp hour battery. Yes, mean turn on the lights. Thanks. Um, <laughs> uh, 45 watt charging. Uh, you have 25 watt uh, power share. Uh, you can actually pre-order the device uh, starting today, and then um, sales will start on August 23rd. T-Mobile will have a buy one, get one, but not on the 5G model. So on the regular Note 10 and then the Note 10 Plus. Uh, by the way, no SD card on this device on any of them. No headphone jack, so those things are gone. Uh, the Note 10 will set you back $40 per month with zero down on T-Mobile. The Note 10 Plus will cost you $150 down, $40 a month on T-Mobile. And, um, you know, you'll be, you always need to do that difference, you know, of the down payment whenever you go over that certain, I think it's $700 or $749 allotment. Uh, you got to put the difference down and then finance the rest. So there's some good and some bad mix in there. I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm happy to see that we're actually going to have a 5G compatible device on T-Mobile that is a true flagship uh, the only problem is Verizon exclusivity. I'm, I have kind of seen some images. Some people on the Discord showed or shared a screenshot of Sprint saying that they were going to be carrying this phone starting August 23rd. But that kind of contradicts every story that I've read on the Verizon exclusivity. Anyways, if you're going to be buying it from a carrier, you'll have to wait unless you're going Verizon way, which I don't recommend. Or you'll be buying through Samsung uh, and you'll have to finance through them or whatever the case may be, you know, paying outright or trading in, uh, whatever's going on there. You guys let me know what you think of these devices. Let me know what you think of that whole 5G situation with the different modems in the AT&T and T-Mobile models and the Sprint models and the Verizon models. I mean, this is an ongoing issue. We've seen this in smartphones for a long time. Every carrier's models are different 
and they're not interoperable. And I guess it's just status quo for the wireless industry. No intercompatibility. So let me know what you guys think of the pricing. Let me know what you guys, if you're going to be considering this device, uh, whatever, uh, go ahead and sound off in the comment section below. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this device. Anyways, uh, big shout out to the discord, big shout out to the patrons over on Patreon links in the description box below for that. And if you'd like to support SMT production, there is a PayPal link in the description box as well uh, for a small or occasional monetary donation. Thank you for those considerations in advance. I think I'll leave it at that. Uh, we are going to be live streaming later on tonight with Michael Frasca of Technoid on this event. So look forward to that. Uh, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and make sure you activate that notification bell so you never miss an upload from the SMT. I am the SMT. That's it for this one. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.